Deadly flooding cripples the tri-state. More than 20 lives have been lost. Entire neighborhoods underwater. Roads impassable. The subway shut down. We're here today because of a devastating storm that shocked the people of this city. And to even the morning after, we're still uncovering the true depth of the loss. The remnants of Hurricane Ida turned major highways into rivers, triggering states of emergency in New York and New Jersey after historic rainfall. This is News 4 Now for Thursday, September 2nd. I'm Adam Cooperstein, and at least 23 people in New York and New Jersey died from last night's flooding. That includes two people who died in a flooded basement in Jamaica, Queens. That flood water was rushing so furiously through the street, it blasted a hole in the wall of this building. A 45-year-old mother and her 22-year-old son were in the basement gathering their belongings, trying to leave the apartment, and that's when the water burst through and they just had no chance to escape. In New Jersey, meanwhile, at least 14 deaths have been confirmed there so far. Four of them are people who were in an apartment complex in Elizabeth. The Elizabeth River overflowed its banks, sending water rushing through all the first floor apartments, and that trapped and drowned those four people. 600 total people who live in the complex have now been left homeless. They put the sandbags down. The water was just so uh, overwhelming that the water came into my apartment. We need shelter, we need food, we need clothes, we need it all. Cars, everything, this whole area was flooded. We want to hear the water just go whoosh. So we all trying to evacuate. And as once again, I know FEMA, nobody's here. In South Jersey, a tornado that spawned from Ida ripped several homes apart in Mullica Hill. The tornado destroyed at least nine homes, with some leveled to their foundations. Thankfully, despite how horrific this looks, no one was hurt, according to officials, and we heard from some of the people who lived through it. Next thing I know, I, I started hearing like a, uh, a noise, and I, and I saw through the uh, smaller window that we have in the basement, kind of like a, a, a lot of wind and uh, I heard a, like a rumbling noise and I quickly just uh, ran to the entrance of the basement and, and uh, yelled to my wife and my son, get down here right away, get down here right away. And then my wife was nearby. Uh, she, you know, she was closing the door and as she was closing the door, the door literally, you know, it came off uh, the hinge. In Mamaroneck in Westchester County, the water is receding now. But this morning, hundreds of residents needed to be rescued from the floodwaters. Women, men, children, babies, even pets were rescued by those first responders so brave out there near Mamaroneck Avenue and Halstead. We talked with the man who waited to make sure that his 13 family members were taken to safety first, and then he and his golden doodle, Milo, stepped on a raft and were taken to safety. You know, uh, thank God. First and most part, my family comes first, you know what I mean? I know we lost everything, you know, but materialistic, everything, you know, that you can, you know, you can just repair, you know, but family, you can't bring back. Parts of Ameriknek are without power right now, and across the county, more than 15,000 homes are without power. Now, thankfully, the sun is out today. The weather is so much nicer. It's actually beautiful. It's one silver lining in all this. So let's get an update now from Storm Team 4 as we try to recover from this. Hi there, I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist Maria La Rosa. Happy to see the remnants of Ida out of here. While we'll still see some high levels on some rivers and creeks, the rainfall, that is definitely done. In fact, not just not any rain, but barely anything in the way of cloud cover. So we'll see the fair skies continue through later on tonight and tomorrow morning. A little gusty still through this evening with those north winds about 15 to 25 miles per hour at times. But you can see by morning, still with that north flow, but more like 5 to 15 mile per hour wind. That is going to continue to bring in that cooler, drier air, feeling a little bit like fall. Tomorrow morning, 59 degrees, 55 in White Plains, 58 in Islip, and again, very low humidity. And in fact, we'll see some 40s to start the morning off on the map tomorrow morning. Liberty in Claryville, mid and upper 40s. We'll have another day, though, with some sunshine and back in the 70s. That's it for now. Thank you so much for watching News 4 Now. And stay tuned next for the latest from New York Live.
I am thrilled to introduce you to Chloe Love today. She is a serial entrepreneur who always dreamed about living her life in the biggest way possible. As the founder and CEO of a music production company, a nonprofit that helps uplift the lives of women, and most recently, a content creation space here in Brooklyn, I would say she's doing just that. So Chloe's Corner, the concept is having me in your corner with all the resources, the knowledge, my network is now your network. I couldn't have done any of this by myself and my foundation is why I'm able to soar the way that I do and noticing that, I'm like, well, let's be a space where we can be that for other people. We help entrepreneurs understand business tiers, branding. We help people meet their goals from A to Z. And in addition to that, you're also a content creation studio. Absolutely. It can be videos, a podcast, whatever digital content can help the components of your brand experience. The other thing I do want to talk about is that you're very successful, but you weren't, you weren't necessarily born into a family where things were handed to you. Absolutely. In fact, I know you had people, you had teachers, Teachers yes. kind of tell you, just quit while you're ahead. I, you know, I, I would get bored easily. I didn't realize how serious that was because people couldn't process the way that I process and pick things up. So instead of taking the time and the patience to explain that to me, like my mom did when I went home, I had a teacher who was like, why don't you just drop out? Why don't you go to City As High School? And uh, it's an alternative school. I'd never heard the term alternative school. Come full circle, and we started our music and micro society program with City As High School years later, where this man banished me to go and career die, became a part of my career. Everything that I have learned about you, I see a common, a common theme, a common thread, helping people. Yeah. yeah. What is your hope for the future for this space? I just want Chloe's Corner to thrive as a place of just success. So it needs to be that go-to place for people to heal and grow. I said everybody needs a Chloe <laughs> in their corner, and now you see why. Chloe, love, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.